There are myths in property that simply are not true. And in this video, we're gonna bust them all. So the first myth is you should only invest in London. It's definitely not true. I can understand why that myth has come about because London has done well recently, but let's look into it. First of all, London is a fantastic place to invest. The fundamentals are super strong, but London is not the only good place to invest. Now I know a lot of people in London are guilty of only ever looking in London and never leaving. There are plenty of areas outside of London that you should invest in or consider as part of your portfolio. It's not that you should only invest in London or you should only invest outside of London. The point being is you should mix. A mix of different areas is no bad thing. So have a look at areas outside of London. Do your research if you're not familiar with these places. But if you do your research, you can start to paint a picture of areas that can offer exceptional value and very good returns and good long-term prospects as well. The second myth, never invest in flats is the myth. And I just don't think that's true. I've always been a fan of flats and I'm actually a big fan of ex-local authority flats which a lot of people aren't. In my opinion, there is a lot in favour of flats. Of course, there are service charges, but then you can just build those service charges into your figures. And those service charges do actually incorporate certain costs like buildings insurance that you'd have to pay anyway. I don't think that's a major con compared to some of the advantages of investing in flats. The other factor, of course, is the lease and the length of the lease. Our next one, number three, is you have to be a landlord. The term landlord suggests that you're very much hands-on. But being a landlord is a choice in terms of the amount of work you put in. So when I say landlord, I mean that you're hands-on, full-time involved in property. I believe you have a choice. You can be an investor or a landlord. So you can either be hands-on if you so wish, or you can set systems up and pay professionals that you can act as an investor and dedicate very little time to your property portfolio. But the most important thing to realize is you're not forced to being full-time when you invest in property. There are things you can do to minimize your time invested that basically involves setting up systems and working with professionals. All right, let's move on to myth number four. Big myth here, your home is an asset, but it's really not. If you're living there, then you can't exactly just like liquidate it and bank the cash. You need somewhere to live. It's a paper asset, but in reality, it's a liability that's costing you money every month. Personally, I rent my home and I know lots of other investors do as well. The fifth myth is you should always buy near where you live. Now, a lot of property investors, their first investment is often very near to where they live. And that's understandable because it's secure. They know it. It's easy to do. It feels comfortable. It's within their comfort zones. But maybe they're the reasons why you should look further afield. Because if it is within your comfort zone, then are you doing the best for your money? Is your money working hard enough? Have you just done the easy option or have you done the best option? Have a look at different areas. Don't just rule the other areas out because you don't know them initially. If you're prepared to put the research in, and research is key here, get familiar with other areas, then you may achieve a far better return. So you might be lucky in your local area, may be fantastic for property investment. But if you live in a country village, then that might not be the best place to invest because the yields might not be a fantastic return and the fundamentals might not be there. But if you've got something useful from this video, you'll get so much more from the Property Podcast, where every week we bring you what investors really need to know. You can listen anywhere you listen to your podcasts. Just search Property Podcast.